Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dominique and this is Budget Life Mom Life. Today I have a Azure Standard haul for you. So this is my haul from the end of May um, and I am going to be attaching my haul from April because I never posted it and so I figured I'd go ahead and add it on here so it'll give you some good ideas if you're interested in going to Azure Standard. So Azure Standard is like a bulk buying store online and when you go online, you can see if there are any drop points near where you live. And so what you do is you bulk buy online with a bunch of people at your drop um, center. And then when the time comes once a month, um, they usually come in a big truck and they drop everything off. And everyone goes there, grabs their items, helps them load the truck, and then you can get the products that you want. So you don't have to do bulk buying. You can buy smaller quantities if you want to for things that you want to try. And that's what I did. This month, I spent about $50 this month. I'll go ahead and leave my Azure Standard link down below. So if you're interested in trying it out, I really like it. I have bought lots of stuff there. It's a great way to find like organic things too if you don't have access to those as well. So definitely look, at, look them up and see if there's a drop point near you. So the first thing I bought were these um, half gallon glass jars. So they didn't come with lids. They were $13.38. Sorry, I just have it written down here. Um, and so they are Azure standard brand. So they have a nice little um, picture on them and they say Azure. And so I have been, I added these to my collection of jars. Before that, I bought these. These are also half gallon. So I have a bunch of these as well, but I thought I wanted to go ahead and try the mason jars. So I went ahead and ordered the mason jars and the lids, I get these from Walmart. They're like $3.00 around there for a pack of eight. So I bought those. I just labeled them on top what they are. So that way, if they are empty, I know it can go back into them as well as um, if my family's using them and they don't know what they are, they know, they have an idea of what they could be. So I have those back here. And so the next thing I got was on sale it is a two cup measuring cup. It was on sale for $8.79 and it's normally $10.38. So I went ahead and grabbed it. I was baking today, sorry, so it's a little bit dirty with flour on it, but um, I grabbed this because it's something that I've been interested in. I've been making a lot of like sourdough and sourdough discard recipes as well as bread. So um, I go through a lot of flour, so I went ahead and grabbed that. The next thing I grabbed are some new measuring spoons. They were on sale for $12.91. Originally, they're $15.23, and I got them because I wanted them to be able to go into my spice jars, um, especially like the tablespoons, because I can never get a tablespoon in my spice jar. I kind of have to just like drop it into my um, spoon. So I grabbed this one so that I can go ahead and have those. The next thing I got was a lid for my mason jars to drink out of, and it was um, $5.63. So it's just this plastic lid that you put into your mason jar. I'm drinking my coffee right now. And so you just insert it into the lid and you're able to drink from it like iced coffee. Um, and it's great, I love it. Um, a little pricey for one, but it's reusable, so it's very nice. Uh, the next thing I found, it was on sale. It is some black currant jam. So I make a lot of our own jams at home, like strawberry, mixed berry, um, cranberry, jalapeno, lots of those, but we don't have black currants available to us and it's something that I've wanted to try so I went ahead and bought this. It was on sale for $4.14, normally $4.87 and it's really good. We've tried it. Um, it's great for like toast to put on that. I think it's a little bit too sweet to put in like a peanut butter and jelly or anything like that but we really like it on the breakfast toast like on some sourdough or homemade bread. The next thing I got is some stevia, liquid stevia. Actually this is the last thing I got. Liquid stevia, um, I just wanted to try it. My doctor recommended using stevia as a sweetener if I wanted to put like a low sugar type of sweetener in anything. So I went ahead and grabbed this. It was on sale for $11.51, normally $12.79. And so those are the things I got for around $50. It was about $57, but I had $7 in Azure cash that I was able to go ahead and roll into this. So one of the great things about buying with Azure is a lot of the things that they're selling have Azure Cash attached to it. So if you buy something, they might have like a double, triple, quadruple type of thing of cash attached to it. So I always look in there to see if there's anything that I wanna buy uh, that's on my list to see if I'm getting extra cash back. And so I can go ahead and roll that into my next order. So um, also if you go ahead and click that link down below to look into Azure, um, you get, when you start your own 
Azure pay or Azure Azure account, you'll get your own link to share with others. But if you spend a hundred dollars in your first order, I'll be able to get you know like like a little bit of cash back for that. So that would really help me out, my family. If you're interested in trying Azure out, and then you'll get your own link and you can share that with the people that you know and get them interested in um, using Azure. And if you do not have a drop near you, you could be interested in becoming a drop coordinator. Maybe if you're interested in ordering from Azure, um, or you can get together with someone you know that already has an Azure account and just like try ordering a couple of things with them and see if you're interested in or, or like opening your own account. So if you have any questions, please go ahead and link those down below. Um, leave a comment, make sure to like this video and subscribe, and I'll be back with my next Azure order in June. Okay, thank you, bye. Hi everyone, I'm gonna go ahead and add this Azure Standard Haul onto a grocery outlet haul that I did maybe a week ago. I just got a, a small order, about $50 from Azure Standard. It was about 75 um, and they had taken off some spices they didn't have for me. And then I also had a credit because last month I ordered yeast and I got walnuts. So I got credited back the amount for the yeast uh, which I ended up getting this time, and so it took off the price for that. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and see the couple things I got from Azure Standard. First thing I got is this e-cloth for glass and polishing. I'm going to use this on my sliding glass window, or sliding glass door, and my windows. And also I think I'm going to use it to try and polish the top of my stove, maybe to see if it can get that clean. But other than that, that's what this is for mirrors in the house. And then I also got this, and I think this was about like seven dollars, seven or eight dollars. This one was about fourteen. It came with a, it's a bathroom cleaning set, and it comes with two cloths. Um, <clears throat> I got this because my kids are going to be in charge of cleaning their bathroom, and so um, just to keep it easier, what they don't have to have spray bottles up in there. Um, I'm going to keep um, some Lysol wipes up there for when they do the toilet. Um, but this is good so they can go ahead and polish the glass and mirrors as well as wipe down the bathroom surfaces, the bathtub, shower, and that type of stuff. And they don't have to use like spray bottles. Um, so I don't want them to spray. They're not super little. They're 9 and 11. But I don't want them to like spray their face or spray too much type of thing. So this way it just makes the whole process a little bit easier. They just have to get it wet and clean the bathroom. The next thing I got are these little baking cups, the mini baking cups. These were on sale for like $1.90, I believe. So I went ahead and grabbed four of them um, just to do some mini muffins. Um, so my kids are going to be home for the next couple of weeks because they are on break from school because they go year-round. So I thought we could make some, bake some mini muffins. Also, we have an end of the year Girl Scout party coming up, so I thought we would go ahead and make some little mini treats to go with that. The next thing I got is some Nancy's Probiotic Greek Yogurt. This is for my dog um, to get her to eat some probiotics and to go ahead and go with that. And then shh, next I got some all-purpose household cleaner. I just got it in this big jug and I'm going to refill some spray bottles I already have. Um, sorry, this was about $8 for the probiotic Greek yogurt. Um, my husband and I are just trying to get our dog to eat something else. You know, she eats kibble or like a, I don't even remember what kind it is, but it's expensive just because we want to make sure she's getting like, um, not as many grains and whatnot. So in her food. And so this is just another way that I was watching online that, um, Probiotic non or whole milk plain yogurt is good for them. And I was going to add in some of these black chia seeds. I also have hemp hearts or like the hemp meal maybe to put in it as well. I tried to make her oatmeal and mix in some plain yogurt and she didn't like it. So I think we're just going to try yogurt mixed with the chia seeds and the hemp and see if she likes that just to get her some you know, other things in her body, help her coat, help her digestive system, and all of that. I got two pounds of chia seeds, black chia seeds, so we have two. We use these in our smoothies. Um, my husband uses it in his overnight oats, those types of things, and then we're going to be using it for the dog. We ran out, so I um, thought I would just go ahead and buy two pounds, because one pound I feel like would go by fast, so I got two of them. The next thing I got is 
some active dry yeast. This is the yeast I was talking about, um, the one that I didn't get last time. So I got it this time. I'm, I'm just about out of use. I have a couple tablespoons left. So I went ahead and grabbed this. I'll put some, I keep it in a mason jar in my freezer. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. And then I have a vacuum sealer for mason jars. So I'll probably just go ahead and put some more or uh, whatever it doesn't fit in my mason jar for the freezer in a second mason jar, vacuum seal it and put it in my deep freezer downstairs. So this is all, that's around 12, $13. So that was free. Um, the chia seeds, I believe they're about like three or $4 a pound. I'm sorry. I don't have my receipt on me. <laughs> uh, the household cleaner I think was like $10. And it is, how much is it? 128 ounces for this. And so this should keep us in the cleaner. I've been liking, my favorite household cleaner is, multi-purpose cleaner is from Walmart. It's just like a Walmart brand and they haven't been carrying it. And so since they haven't been carrying it, I was like, I'll try this. And I'm glad they put it in a bag because it tells you like which direction to keep the box. But my husband didn't read that or see that. And so he put the box on the side. So it leaked a little bit. So very glad that they put this in the bag so that it didn't fall over my other stuff. And that is my $50 Azure Standard haul. I will go ahead and make sure I leave the link to Azure Standard down below if you want to go ahead and try it out. I think if you spend like $100 in your first order, it'll give me like $25 to go ahead and spend towards my next order. But if not, it's just a great way for you to get bulk items. Here in Southern California, you don't have to pay for shipping for these items. You just have to find a drop point, which is really nice. Um, because I know if you live more out or to the East Coast, they do pay for shipping depending on where you're being delivered. Um, so it's great that we don't have that added fee or it's nice to have that, but um, you can find some really great deals and things that you really like on there. So give them a look if you haven't already heard of it or haven't ever looked um, and tell me what you think. Okay, thank you, bye.